What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFollows.com. Recap the news. Today we got a pretty solid video, stuff from all the brands, and before I get into things, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. We're nearing in on 120,000 subscribers, and like always, I appreciate the support. I hope you guys are staying safe. And if you have to go out by either getting supplies or you have to work, I hope you're able to get home fast and safe. Now, for some of the highlights in this video, we have a first look at the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in light smoke gray. That shoe definitely has a theme going on. As well, official images of the Air Jordan 7 Hair 2.0. We also have a good amount from Nike and a small handful from Adidas. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. We finally have a first look at Jonah Hill's upcoming Adidas Superstar collaboration. He'll also be collaborating on the Adidas Samba, but we have yet to see images. And we do have a bit of release details on the Superstar, but going over this pair, they feature white throughout while handwritten embroidery lands on the hill. And then we have unique stitching on the hill as well as across the laces. Now, as for a release date, April 10th is the date. However, that's when they'll release overseas. Currently, we don't know about a stateside release. But more information should be available soon and the retail price will be 140 while the adidas samba will cost you 110. fortnite streamer ninja is collaborating with adidas originals once again and the two are releasing another night jogger colorway for his next release, it comes dressed in orange, blue, and yellow, while Ninja's branding is seen on the insoles and lace jewel. Following, we have a hang tag of Ninja that reads, Time In, and that is a tribute to the hours spent by creators developing their craft. Finishing this pair off is a white boost midsole. So, at the time of shooting this video, we don't have a set release date, but summer 2020 is when they're expected to release and the retail price will be 150. Last up from Adidas, we have details on a possible upcoming Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Oreo. And this pair is not like the first Oreo release. And currently shown is a Photoshop. Now the Photoshop is actually based off of the Prime Knit that recently leaked. And going over the pair, they feature a mixture of gray, white, and black across the Prime Knit upper. As you can see, colors slightly get darker as we get towards the Boost midsole, and that is covered in all black. The same shade lands on the laces. And currently, it isn't known if there's going to be a reflective version of this pair. But like always, more info soon. Now, onto the release details. There isn't really anything specific out there. They could release during fall or winter 2020. It's kind of up in the air at this moment. And the retail price will be 220 with everybody staying home, people are spending more time online and this resulted in a few celebrities showing off some of their latest sneakers. But here we have Travis Scott who shared a photo of his Nike SB Dunk Low. And this is actually a sample. So different from what released at retailers, what could have released would feature beige suede on the upper. And then we have elephant print on the overlays. And as you can see, it lacks paisley print. In addition, we have black leather on the swoosh, cell on the midsole, and then brown on the rubber outsole. It might just be me, but it looks like the elephant print in this photo is a bit lighter than what released. And comparing the sample versus the retail pair, which do you like better? Also, if you haven't guessed by now, this pair is not releasing, but I wouldn't be surprised if Travis Scott and Nike Skateboarding decided to release another collaboration down the road. After showcasing a preview of the Nike LeBron 17 Command Force, we now have more images as well as release details. So one of the things that we couldn't see in the prior video was the base. And as you can see here, it's a bit more colorful than expected, at least by myself. We also have Volt placed within the Air Max unit black on the swoosh and my favorite part about this shoe is the tongue which is done in the same style as the movie white men can't jump and just to tie everything in the nike air command force was worn by woody harrelson's character billy hoyle in the film now if this is a pair that you're going to go after they drop on april 17th retail price will be 200 
It looks like Nike is releasing an upcoming space theme pack. Recently, we showcased the Kyrie 6, There Is No Coming Home, and now we have the Nike Air Flight 89, known as Planet of Hoops. So, going over the pair, they feature white leather throughout the upper, purple and infrared details land on the liner, and across the speckled midsole. Now the highlight of this pair is 3M reflective and glow in the dark detailing throughout. I'll make sure to throw images of both in this video. And then on the tongue we have the court planet of hoops. Court is crossed out so we just have the planet of hoops. We also have some interesting insignias on the inside of the tongue. And then on the left hill we have planet and on the right we have 800165. So I wasn't able to connect that string of numbers to anything but if you're able to make sure to leave a comment below and let me know so I can share it with everybody else. Finishing this pair off we once again have a space theme on the insoles with Nike branding. Now at the time of shooting this we don't have a release date nor a retail price. I know that's been the theme of most shoes in this video so far but they are expected to release and they should be coming soon and once more information is available that will go into the following video. Release details for the Stuzy Nike Air Zoom Spiridon Cage has arrived and this includes two colorways. Those two colorways which will release this week comes dressed in pure platinum, black and white while the second features fossil and black. Now, as for the release date, March 27th is the date. They will release at select chapter stores and on Stuzy.com at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, my whole thing with this is, I'm not sure how they're going to do the release at their chapter stores, since everybody is supposed to be staying home. Maybe they're going to cancel their in-store release, but it has yet to be announced. I tried to do some searching, I couldn't find anything, and this was all the info that was presented at the time of shooting this video. Now, there's also another Air Zoom Spirit on Cage that will release. That pair will come just in black cool gray and white. Also dropping is two colorways of the Zoom Spirit on KK and a pair of slides. Now there isn't a release date for those models as of yet, but we should have more details soon. And the retail price for the Spirit on Caged is 160. Jordan brand just unveiled the new Jordan Delta SP, which is the brand's newest React model that combines plush support with responsive cushioning to give you the best of both worlds. Reading more from their press release, or I should say their excerpt from Nike Sneakers, the shoe's glove-like fit gets better with each wear, forming a unique fit with your feet with React Foam giving you an ultra soft feel underfoot. Lightweight material on the upper adapts to your every step, making this style an everyday staple. The entire package is reinforced by fully transparent, flexible TPU overlays across the silhouette. This Jordan React Delta comes covered in shades of cell, white, and photo blue. Not too long ago, this pair was previewed by DJ Khaled, I believe. I don't think it was this colorway, it was another one, and there is more colorways set to release later this year. But for those that want to grab the Jordan Delta SP cell, they drop on April 18th. Retail price will be 150 Jordan Brand's spring and summer 2020 lineup doesn't just include hyped up or popular releases. Sometimes we have something simple and clean. So the next few shoes I'm going to cover in this video will be exactly that. And first up is the Air Jordan 1 Low in black and white. Using black leather across the upper, while the same shade lands on the mesh tongue, laces, and outsole. Following we have white, which is used on the branding located on the tongue, insoles, swoosh logo, stitch wings on the heel, and midsole. So a very clean and straightforward look. Sometimes it's nice to have something like that in your rotation, at least I think so. And as far as a release date goes, there isn't one available and more than likely there won't be, they'll just show up to retailers whenever they do. And then from there, they'll throw them on the shelves. But if I had to guess basically any time now, keep your eyes peeled to retailers like East Bay, Foot Locker. And when they are available, the retail price will be 90. 
for our second and third simple release from Jordan brand, part of their spring summer collection, is the Air Jordan 1 Mid Triple White and Triple Black. Now, this isn't the first time these two have released. Not only that, we've seen both colorways released, but with simple, but the two seem to stay in Jordan brand's rotation. It seems like they release every six months, but going over the two, both come constructed with leather throughout the upper. The triple white pair features smooth leather throughout, and then if you look closely, tumble leather is used on the overlays, and we have the same setup going on for the triple black pair. However, you can see the tumble leather a little bit more. Other details includes either a white or black midsole and rubber outsole, as well as the respective shade covering all of the branding. Currently, the two do not have a release date soon, and retailers should be getting them in any time now, and once that happens, they'll throw them on the shelf or list them on the website. So basically, expect them anytime now, sooner rather than later. Retail price is set at 110 each. On feed images of the Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0 has arrived. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time on this and the only reason I'm including it in the video because I talked about it in the last video is because we're not really getting a full look at the shoes. You know how it is when a shoe leaks as far as the images go. We get a photo here, a photo there, a few more and then finally we get a really good look. Well, we're not quite at the really good look, in my opinion at least, but it does show off the various angles as well as how they look on feet. So once again, they feature a exotic theme. I feel that the Animal Instinct 2.0 has more going on in comparison to the 1.0. And from this new set of images, it appears that they'll come with three sets of laces. In the first set of photos, we saw that this pair was laced up in black. And as you can see, it features yellow and red laced up. And with that being said, let's touch on the release date and move on to the next shoe. Currently, there isn't a release date, but they're expected to release spring 2020. Some are saying summer 2020. It's a possibility this pair was pushed until summer and the retail price will be 225. Next up, we have official images of the Air Jordan 7 Hair 2.0. It appears that the release date on this pair has yet to be pushed back, which is a good thing. That is, of course, if you like the shoes, and funny enough, Jordan Brand's actually calling this the Air Jordan 7 Hair. They sent out an email to a lot of people, and instead of calling them the Hair 2.0, they just called them the Air Jordan 7 Hair. I just thought that was funny. I personally would rather see the OG Air Jordan 7 Hair release than this, but that's just my opinion. And obviously, the overall look is inspired by Bugs Bunny, but it does feature some elements from the OG Air Jordan 7, including the style code stamped on the sides and the unique design seen on the insoles as well as the shades used on the insole, shield on the heel, and outsole. So, releasing April 8th, retail price will be 250 Also, this will be a tier zero release. They won't be available everywhere. I kinda like the shoe, and I initially thought I was going to wait until they go on sale, but I don't think that will be the case. Well, initially, I didn't think they would go on sale, but what's going on in the world right now, people may be reluctant to buy upcoming releases but if you do like them don't wait and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below we now have a first look at the air jordan one high og light smoke gray initially we had a photoshop of the shoe and the photoshop and what's releasing is pretty much identical the only difference is the material used constructed with leather on the base we have suede on the overlays speaking of the base it's done in white we have gray on the overlays black on the swoosh, as well as the wings branding, hinted on the ankle, while varsity red is seen on the ankle overlay. Finishing the look is a white midsole and black rubber outsole. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a fan of the shoe. To me, it's just too simple. It's a bit weird, it's almost out of place. And I'm seeing a lot of people calling them the poor man's unions. I'm not gonna call them that. I've never been a fan of calling another shoe a poor man's version of anything. But without a doubt, this pair has to have some sort of theme because this doesn't make sense on the surface. One of the themes I've heard, and I don't know if this will be the case here, and that is it's part of the hair collection. But the only thing that sets me back is the release date because they drop in July. But hey, everything is getting pushed around, so 
who knows? But like I mentioned, they're releasing in July, specifically on July 11th, at least for now, and the retail price will be 170. For me, I'm not really liking them at this moment. Maybe new images will change my mind, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfalls.com and then we take it to YouTube. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys are staying safe as well, not being too bored at home. For me, I know I've been getting work done at a super fast speed, almost to the point where I have time to do other things, which is amazing. So I decided to download I believe it's called Game Pass for the Xbox and I have to wait like two to three days to download all these games. I downloaded NBA 2K20, Halo, all that stuff. So if you guys play Xbox, maybe coming soon we could jump on some games, play something. Also possibly dropping another video tomorrow. I'm sitting on a bit of interesting news. I was just told I couldn't share it. And if I drop a video tomorrow, more than likely, it's not going to have a ton of news in it. It might be somewhat long, but it's going to go over before I get out of here. Like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.